I mean, her her short hop forward is a somersault, and she basically she almost screw attacks when she jumps forward. You know, so you can use that to jump through lasers. And he, he did. That's really cool. That's actually like an that's like a defensive side to Sheik that I hadn't really considered too much prior to watching Jamie play today. Yeah. All right, Fox Falco in winners finals. Ooh, nice defensive down air there out of hit stun by Ginger. Yep. Oh no, not how you want to see it start off, but uh, I told you, man. I told you that Phantom Airline wasn't gonna have a little bit more to say today. I'm so mad that uh, the same thing came to my mind. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, and you, you know what I would have liked to see? In general, I'm gonna want to see it from Moki during this set. Is um using Fox's ledge get up attack to edge guard Falco when he's like mm -hmm. right right on the cusp of um. Oh, by the way, these are some insane. Oh. oh, the edge cancel into the... Oh, oh. On, Randall's on, there, though. Okay, okay. Clip it. Clip it. That that was insane, that entire stock. <laughs> oh, my God. The Nair edge cancel into the shine was so clean. Oh, that was the trash DI, though. And, yeah, Ginger's never going to miss that. <laughs> Did you know that on this stage, slide-off game is stronger? Did you know that the slopes affect... Uh, like knockback calculations and in a way that favors slide offs. Really? I didn't know that. That's cool. Like, for example, you can get hit by that forward smash that uh, Moki did, and you can slide off fast fall to ledge on this stage. And but you would not. not other stages? Yeah, and by the way, crazy down tilt usage from Moki. Um, beautiful, beautiful up until that up until that point. Okay, tied game. Tied game, last stock. Oh, Ginger's got him. Oh, nice up tilt. Nice up tilt. Moki wanted that down air so bad. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, the ASDI down. Yeah. yeah, dude. You know what happened to Moki there? That's actually really sad. He got ADT shielded. Oh, did he? Yeah, analog yeah. digital transition. My least favorite thing about the game. One of the worst for sure. Um, ADT shield yeah. is basically when you try to do a digital shield like a like a full shield with a with a trigger that has a light shield spring in it and if you go frame one light shield and then frame two digital shield your shield does not protect you until frame four so yep. like you'll literally see your character in get hit like when the shield is up yeah, like the shield will appear. And by the way, Ginger's pressure is insane right now. Open, yeah, open this up with like a like a triple shine, then a double shine. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Moki totally lost that game off of ADT shield. And you can fix that by removing the spring uh, from your trigger. Yeah, um, ADT shielding is my least favorite thing about this game. I was talking to someone, some frame data nerd the other day who was maintaining it was a good thing. I think it was Kadano actually. It was either him or Taucon who was saying they actually thought there was a good reason for ADT Shield to be in the game. Uh, that was Taucon for sure, because he said the same thing to me. Um, he actually did have a really coherent argument for it. It involved yeah. one of those like uh, complicated shield mechanics. I, I don't know how they work exactly, but um, you know, there's a lot of shield shenanigans in this game. Mm -hmm. Most like most top pros do not utilize um, the, the type of stuff that I'm talking about, like ZPS. ADT PS. It's like on a completely unexplored tech. And Taucon's argument for why like ADT should remain, it has to do oh, with Oh yeah. It, it makes it makes one of those techniques possible is is what it is. Yeah, it's like if you were like if that. you were to like fix it, then the technique wouldn't be possible. Something like that. But back to the match. Wow, that back throw was crazy. That actually gave Moki a tech chase off the right platform. Um probably way better than an up throw. Moki, you know, we've talked about this really like the pioneer of fox's back throw but ginger um, that is down air dude that down yeah. air was so good so that down air you can only do on yoshis if you do it before the lip because if you do it after the lip you will reach the blast zone and die from it and you need to not fast fall it so it's actually you have to be precise in where you start your jump and uh dude no no way that's actually that's actually like a really useful fact no oh my god this man all right that was almost oh, am I Am I wrong? I, I I just gotta be fast, I guess. My bad, guys. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too sure about that one, but um, Ginger almost opened Moki up with a quadruple shine wave dash down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. finishes it off. Ginger up 2-0. Yeah. He's he's been getting a lot of shine out of shields and stuff that uh that have been 
leading into big, big combos. I feel like Moki has dash attack Ginger Shield a few times. For sure. And you know what's tough for Fox is like you want to drill Falco so bad. Um, but drill is always open to losing to Falco's Shine Out of Shield as well. Like um Falco's Shine Out of Shield is really not that good of an out of shield option. We mentioned this earlier just because of how long Falco's jump squad is. But Fal uh, Fox's drill, the best it can be is negative six, which is exactly how much time Falco needs to shine you out of shield. Mm. So super useful in this matchup. I love that double shine. He knows the first one's going to be a uh, knockdown, and then he gets the second one to hit him out of the air. Boom. Wow, great tech from Ginger, but really good coverage by Moki too, especially dropping down there, knowing that Ginger was going to try and ride the ledge again. That was, that's a bit of a read, but he definitely made it count. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, yeah. we were talking about it. There it is. You jump into the drill, and then it you get the uh, air-to-ground transition. It's just four frames of landing lag, and you can shine out of it. Yeah, like if you're going to full hop this box, you don't want to commit to the down air so early because at that point, it's entirely reactable. Yeah, like the da the, the down air has generally got to be done later than that. That was a crazy up smash out of shield, by the way. Gets him out of a short hop laser and then up smash will finish him off on this stage. Ooh, into the invisible shine. All right, Moki's feeling himself a bit. Maybe he can bring this back. Yeah. I like the fact that he didn't go for like a jab reset or anything there, because you know how Falco is like pretty resilient to those. So he yeah. waited for a waited for a tech chase, even though it didn't go in anything. In anything, it was the right idea for sure. Uh huh. Moki with a lot of full hop and air. He knows Falco's at that percent where he can knock him down with it. Oh, that's a, that's a huge ledge cancel. Yeah. Would have just been back aired off stage if he didn't get that. Yeah. Oh! So good. That's so good. Oh! My god! Huge Moki reversal. With double techs. Huge reversal. And uh, Moki poised to take this one now. Oh, shit. <laughs> that yeah, is unfortunate. Kind of, almost impossible to know that Randall's going to interfere there. Moki uh, kind of gets cheated. But, oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad for Ginger's sake that Moki didn't hit that. Yeah, that's the Moki classic. Whenever yep. I run into him on that play, and there you go. See, he's scouting now that edge cancel because Ginger's done it quite a few times. It's given him a few extra lives, but Moki's ready for it now. That was a dominant game for Moki. Um, big reversal off that tech back air. Super nice. Played the stage well. Played the percents well. Gonna need to see uh, some more of that from him if he wants to take down this set. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. His punish game felt like it came online in a big way that game. Ready? Yep, absolutely. All right, I, want, I, want, I wanted to see this. They're both rocking the blue fox. Um, <laughs> you know, aesthetic is super on point with the agency battlefield skin, courtesy of Daladex. Ooh. Wow, you got the pink and blue. That's great. Yeah. Both rocking the blue spaces is what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's perfect. It's the right colors. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. And uh, oh, um, that's such a such a good shine because you know yeah. none of the none of the aerials. Like if you go right into the aerials, none of them are that good there. But the shine is, you know, fantastic. Great weak nair. Ginger using a lot of potential DI mix-ups, but Moki's been ready for him, you know, with with that weak nair and stuff. Well, it's like these DI mix-ups. They used to catch you off guard. Now it's kind of just the meta. Like you expect, yeah. you expect Spacey's players to go for things like weak nair, weak yeah. bear. Um, it's like pro Spacey's now. They they can easily recognize when you're going to go for those. It's almost yeah. like whenever the whenever the opportunity presents itself. Well, and especially because because the clear visual indicator too is they're double jumping above you, right? So then you know a lot of the time that it's coming. They can come from below you too. Like you know how. Um, yep. Ooh. Oh man, Ginger's shield pressure has been real strong this oh, entire Oh yeah, set. and that was, that wave dash was um, notched as as fuck. <laughs> he he traveled so far off that wave dash. <laughs> Falco sometimes really benefiting a lot from that, you know, because uh, things like SDI can compromise his combo game. But then you hit like a super shallow wave dash, and uh, you can still find the conversion. Ooh. 
comes down with bear. Just oh, but him. empty, empty laser. Uh, his clip ran out. Uh, he definitely, <laughs> definitely wanted to. He definitely wanted to put Moki below the stage and set up for a really easy edge guard. That being said, he does, he does find it regardless. And yeah, yeah, I love it. Fall, just toss him off and go straight for the 50-50. Moki really needed that to, to get himself back in this game. Yeah, it was looking like Ginger was threatening to run away with it. He has a Ginger off stage again in the corner. What can he do? Yeah, he should have. He should have looked to deny. Should have looked to deny the ledge. He he was being super uh, super generous of him to just let Ginger descend for free, but um he's still keeping the pressure on. Oh, this could be an up smash situation. I actually think he should have up throwed. Um, he could have he could have potentially up smashed off that top platform. Hmm. Why why would you have preferred that? Uh, you can kill Falco at like 85 ish. Oh, nice nice call out. Nice call out. All right. Oh. Oh, the shield pressure from Ginger. And he's scouting the rolls so nicely, too. Damn. Great reaction on the down smash, but he was just like a frame late. And so uh, Fox goes in the wrong direction. Oh, oh no. no, he's gone. He's gone. Yep, I love it. That I I think Drill's so much better than Shine there, you know? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. impossible to miss. Impossible to miss. Much more lenient with the timing. And you don't need your life anyways. Just go for it. Yeah. Two to two in this pivotal game five that will shape the uh the remainder of this tournament for sure yeah moki on the verge of picking up the reverse 3-0 against ginger which would be yeah that'd be huge nice. that'd be huge i think whoever takes this next game is the favorite to um to win the entire thing tonight yeah yeah for sure uh, other than other than jamie other than jamie <laughs> oh moki He's all over him. And I love that he doesn't go right for the right for the yeah. open, right for the second grab. Oh, he took the double jump, he's dead. He's dead. Yes! Oh, that was Blocks just a perfect stock from Moki. So, so good. I, I was gonna point out the same thing. When he had Ginger on that platform, instead of just going for the grab, he he baits it and then reads the shield drop and punishes that instead. So Dude, smart. Moki's running away with it. He's calling out the side B's. Ginger's on the run right now. You can see Ginger trying to do these fade back aerials going, please, please run into my down air. I need something right now. Yeah, but... uh, yeah. Oh, dude, he almost got called out again. Oh my God, the upside of the shield is perfect. That was so, that was so good. You know, not, nothing else out of shield is going to reach there, but that's going to reach and it's going to take the stock. Moki with a huge lead right now. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay, Ginger's back, Ginger's back. Oh shit, that was almost curtains for uh, Ginger's winner's finals. Oh my god, but right now you gotta ask, did he really want to come back? I feel like maybe he should have stayed off stage. Yeah, Ginger's got a mountain to climb right now. Oh, he tried to push him off. Yeah. Dude, yeah. where I haven't seen this Moki all night. Like I know he's deep into the bracket, but this is this is like this is like peak Moki Ooh. right now. <laughs> Good slide off by Ginger. He gets to stay alive a little bit longer. And this is tough for Falco because um, Fox can just roll his face over the controller and, you know, <laughs> you, you connect with anything and it's curtains. There it is. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Huge lead for Moki. But that's, okay. that's what Ginger needs. He needs to close this one out. Yeah, but see, Moki's so smart about how he's getting out of these combos. And he's just going to ledge. And it's so hard for Falco to cover that if he's just been on the platform and thrown out that laser or something. Beautiful read on that side B. He, he's been flawless on calling out the side Bs all game long. Like Ginger has either outright died for them or taken a big taken a big punish for all of them. I like the fair a lot. That should close it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So laser shine is how Ginger got the openings in the... Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. He makes it on stage, crucially. No, Down smash. yeah, no, let's go. Did Ginger do this? Can't he bring it back? Don't tell me it's gonna happen. Let's see. Oh let's shit! See. Really good down tilt. That was. Oh, oh, let's go. Ginger. Let's fucking go. He doesn't let him grab the ledge. Oh he... my god. Moki batted 100% on his uh, punishes on Ginger's side B. That in, yeah. for that entire game. You're like, right. It didn't matter where the side B started from. It didn't matter how it was timed. Um, oh my goodness, that was that was a well played game. Well played last three games from Moki. Yeah, but I also I Ginger was starting to put it together at the end there. That combo to end it with the weak back air into the down smash was so nice. I uh, I would love to see those guys face off again in grand finals. 